Let's face it, sometimes the villain is the best part of a movie. The fact of the matter is, the world is super saturated with unlikable people. It is not enough to simply be a bad guy. If a villain is to become a household name, they must dazzle us. The first thing a good villain must have is originality, something that is distinct to them and them alone. It is what makes an antagonist memorable. After all, would Joker have made as much of an impression without the makeup? Would Hannibal Lecter have been as menacing if he were never transported without the straight jacket and mask? What about Darth Vader? Without the helmet and voice, would people have remembered him? Strong character development is never a waste of time. The villain origin story must be as characteristic as the villain themselves. Give an audience a reason we can understand and you'll have our attention. Give us a reason we can agree with and you'll have our allegiance. The Joker was driven mad by his observations of society's misplaced priorities. Darth Vader believed he was robbed of his destiny and left a crippled version of his former self. We've heard the phrase rebel without a cause, but in reality, to perfect a villain, the villain has to have motivations the audience can understand, even if they don't agree. Just as not all heroes wear capes, not all villains are cloaked in black. Indeed, one of the most loathworthy of villains are wolves in sheep's clothing. Having a villain that shows their true colors only to a select few adds a wonderful situation where the protagonist first has to convince the people around them that they aren't crazy before they can truly get down to the business of actually fighting the villain. These are most often the villains we love to hate. We will stand behind our villain through all manner of crimes, but we can't stand a liar, can we? We really prefer our villains to embrace their darkness rather than hiding it, although both types have their charms. Now, the thing about life is as soon as you make a rule, almost immediately an exception will reveal itself, which brings us to the villain we love because they're just cool. They don't have motivations we really stand behind, and we don't actually root for them, but they're the eye candy villain, and we love them. These villains are usually categorized as monsters, and despite no real backstory or need for character development, they can fill a theater just as well as any hero. In fact, some have entire movies centered around them. In the end, subtlety never wins out. When it comes to the best villains, go big or go home. Thanks for watching.